Welcome to another Flutter quick bit. So today we're going to look at basic Flutter codes. So uh, in the previous quick bit, I talk about Meet app and how to use Meet app. So this is basically a structure for stateless widget. There are two types of widget in Flutter, a stateless widget and a stateful widget. A stateless widget don't allow for the layout to be updated. Stateful widget allow the layout to be updated. So we're going to look at stateless, stateless widget. So in stateless widget, as you can see, the structure here basically describe our layout. So the first section here, this is basically to import all the uh, relevant uh, package. Uh, void main method, this is basically the entry point for your application. And it basically run this class. So this class here basically represent this one layout. And this class call my app. And it basically a stateless widget, which means that you cannot update the layout with new data or with new information. So inside the stateless widget, you can have the class itself basically um, curly bracket, open by curly bracket and close by curly bracket. So this is basically represent a class. Inside a class, you have this method called build. And this method built basically an override method that draw this layout. So it basically written material app. So material app is basically um, a style of layout. And the material app is the what we call as parent for this layout. So inside material app, you can see there's a title here. This is properties for material app. So if you look at the bracket for the material app, you can see the material app basically ended here, which means that anything inside, inside this material app basically, uh, it's in children, okay, belong to the material app. So inside material apps, there are options, title. So this title is just a simple string for the screen itself. Uh, and for the title itself, uh, other than that, uh, options for material app, you have home. So inside home uh, properties, it contain widget scaffold. So widget scaffold here, basically represented in this block. So the scaffold here, basically the, what we call as the, uh, the backbone for this layout. It basically hold these two section, the app bar section and the body section. So the white section is the body and the blue section up here is the app bar. So inside scaffold, uh, you can have another properties, app bar properties and another properties, properties is body. So at bar represent the blue section and body represent the white section. So if you remove the at bar, basically when you save the at bar, the blue section up here will be removed. So for the body section here, basically contain widget called center. So this widget center, it has a child. So center is basically um, a widget that will center any child inside it. And inside a center widget, we have a child called container. And inside this container, we have a child called text, which basically print out this hello world text. So you can see now, this is one widget, this is one widget, and this is another widget. 
So this widget basically contain another widget and it basically apparent to each other. So it is much easier if you can look through this outline. So you can see that who's basically the parent and who's the children. So the material app is all of this layout. So under material app, you have scaffold. So under scaffold, you have app bar and also body. So under app bar, the children, uh, or it basically contain a uh, tax. And under center, it basically contain a container that will contain a tax. So that is basically how the Flutter uh, code is being structured. And it basically as simple as that. So, um, and this is for stateless widget. So next, we're going to look at stateful widget. Thank you.